later. And then like, of course, like I was doing more in my community and like learning and growing. And then um, I was getting heavily into drag race and was like, yeah, that's the goal. Like that's where I'm going to be. But I auditioned on a whim. I said, I, the philosophy was we have to audition because when, when I don't make it, then I can like judge all the girls who are on the season and say, oh, I have reason to judge because I at least tried and auditioned, but right. I made it. And I said, okay, well, I guess life is um, going on a, a direction forward. What was like your overall experience? I mean, I know you were there and then you went back for all stars. Like just, if you had to sum it up, like what was that experience like? Um, well, I remember getting off the plane in California when I filmed season 10 of RuPaul's Drag Race for the first time. And I looked at the person, the PA who picked me up from the airport and I said, so what is this smog thing? Like, what is this that they talk about? I had no idea that of anything about the West Coast, California, Hollywood, filming, anything. I was so out of my element. I just turned 22. I was such a baby. I'm still a, a child, you know, half the time I think about it. And I was just like, where am I? Absolutely shocked and had so much to learn. And then, so I went back, filmed it a second time, had, I was much more prepared. I knew what to expect. I knew what could be thrown at you, but still you have no idea. And I, the first time I did it all wrong because I was terrified. The second time I did it all wrong because I was trying to prove so desperately that I had grown. And um, I won't do it again. <laughs> um, if you call me, the answer is probably no. But um, today, if I were to like do the situation, I would just like, just have fun, just enjoy it. Because it, it, the situation, the experience is never gonna happen again. It's a once in a lifetime. Why wouldn't you do it again if they call? Oh my gosh, it is just so much stress. Um, there's so much needed therapy after too. Honestly, the filming itself isn't that bad. It is the idea of watching yourself afterward and not having control of how much of you is shown and how little, for instance, I, I talk to people and I say, it's a reality TV show. Everyone there has merit to be there, but not everybody can win. Not everybody can get to the, to the end and, and get the prize. So a challenge maybe filmed over 30 minutes, you get two to five minutes on TV. Now I'm not saying that they edit incorrectly or they, they force edit, but they can only show so much in two minutes. So if you have a lot of great moments and a couple bad ones, it's possible the bad ones make the TV cut. And like that is so, I'm so anxiety ridden watching for the girls on the seasons or like myself being on it because you don't know what's gonna be shown. You don't know what they're really critiquing. Is it the whole time I was there or just the part that's shown? It's, it, it's so much to stomach because your career after, really comes after how people have perceived you on on uh, this TV show that's not real. Yeah, and you're being, I think, generous when you say the bad moments might possibly be the focus. I would say probably oh, 98%, yes. Yes, absolutely. Like uh, you could have 10 great moments and three bad ones and the three bad ones, they're gonna be there. Some of, you might have two good ones too, but the bad ones, they're making the cut. Do you have a high from the whole experience either the first time or like, you know, something that stands out or the second time you went back? Oh yeah, I definitely had a high of an experience. I remember I left filming the first time. I mean, you're sequestered for so long. You're living in this utopia of, you know, you're not paying bills, you're not going to work. You're literally just focused on doing your passion and having fun with it. It's stressful, but you enjoy it. I walked into a gas station after I'd been eliminated, I'd been home and I like walked in, wasn't thinking, I grabbed a candy bar and walked out. And I walked, ran back in. I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to steal. I'm just, hey, here it is. And I was so like engrossed and my mind was still in this place of like, here's all this free food and stuff. You just grab it, you take what you need. Like I lived in this fantasy world for weeks. And I was, it would, the transition of coming back to life was so hard because I was still like living in, in fantasy. Right, like wait, you know, here's craft services. Let's just take whatever yeah. city. You're like, wait a second, I just saw a candy bar. Literally, and I just, I, and like, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm a thief. I um, I cannot believe myself. I, I might actually pass away from this experience. You're like, this is not, what about a low? Like, is there something like that? Do you regret anything from either time you were there? And like, or is there like a low that you're just like, oh, this was the low for me? Uh, I try to say that I live life with no regrets. I mean, come on, like we, we always regret things that we've said and done and wish we could do better. Um, I wish that I, 
was at a place then that I am now. And I'm not saying that like I'm perfect or know myself today, but I'm on a better journey today of understanding like who I am and being comfortable with me. I wish I was in that mindset when I was filming TV show because that TV show is filmed and it's kind of like set in stone and it's always there. It doesn't grow, like I get to grow. So I wish, you know, that they say any good artist looks back at past work and is unhappy. And that means that they're growing and developing their own art. So whenever I look back and I'm upset with things that I've said or done or how like things I looked like, makeup looks, hair, costumes, performances, of course I'm frustrated with all that, but I'm grateful that I am because that means I'm growing and that means I'm evolving and I'm becoming you know stronger in my craft. So it's like a love-hate relationship with thinking about you know, regret. Was music always, you know, now as you're about to headline at the green room, like was music always kind of like the end goal when you were doing drag race or, you know, a lot of drag race people do different things. A lot of the Queens go on to different avenues. Was music always kind of your goal or were you like, this will open doors, but I'm not really sure which direction to take it all in. Actually, I'll give you the tea. Um, music wasn't all, hasn't always been my goal. Music has been a part of me and has been so engraved in my like it's a it's a massive part of my life but I always wanted to get back to theater but I was working with individuals um that I don't wish them poorly but they nudged me into working jobs and doing events that made quick turnaround of money made everybody you know more money quickly and that was like press events that was club gigs that was appearances that was commercials print ads you, you name it but I wanted to work on stage I wanted to be in theater and they were like, yeah, we'll get there later in your career. And, you know, like right now you're going to focus on these things that bring in capital. And I was like, but that's not what I want to do. Um, I love doing music. I've wanted to do music. Um, I'm a music, musical theater singer. I'm not a pop singer, but they were like, here's some dance and pop. You're going to sing it. And I was like, oh, yay. And I like to tell people um, I'm not a, I'm not a runner, I'm not a vocal runner. I'm a walker. I like to like walk down those notes. And um, I was like, pop music, like I, I adore it. I like to perform to it. But um, that's not like where I want to be. And they're, you know, but like listening to musical theater in the car isn't usually the vibe. So I, I got to still like live my fantasy and do like what I want to do, which is why I focused on, I said, if I'm going to do music, music videos and visuals as like a visual artist is very important to me. And that's where I got to feel like my theater vibe was like the music video aspect of creating music. Right. Well, I mean, your debut album did go to number one on the dance chart. So if that wasn't really where your heart was, you're certainly still good at it. I mean, I know there's a lot of people involved in production and other things, but yeah. that's no. And, and I, I don't want to sound ungrateful at all. Like I'm so grateful for the how much I've learned, how much I've, you know, experienced and I love it. And I love, you know, music and I love to sing. And, you know, I have, you know, come from a singing background, um, full musical theater background. And it 